How to print your Melodyne work in Pro Tools. Printing means recording your audio work. In this case, your Melodyne plugin edits onto a new track. This new track will represent a new hard copy of your work. This allows users to conserve CPU processing for other applications and much more. Let's check it out. Here I've launched Pro Tools. What we're going to do is apply Melodyne to our lead vocal track and then re-record it onto a new track, thus printing our edited work. So in our first insert slot here, under Trim Plugin, I'm going to pop in Melodyne Mono. There we go. And the plugin window will open. We're going to activate Transfer in Armit for transferring audio. And here I'm going to select the point with which I want to begin transferring, the beginning of verse 1. So Pro Tools is going to start playing back at that point, and that's where we're going to begin transferring the audio from Pro Tools into our Melodyne plugin window. You want to tie me up? You want to tie me down? You're drinking from my cup? Go a second round. There. Once I press stop, we'll see that the audio has been transferred successfully into Melodyne's editor plugin window here, where we can now take advantage of some of these editing functions. For example, we have our pitch editing tool, format, amplitude editing, timing adjustments and note separations. But in this example, we'll pretend that we edited this audio. And what we're going to do now is re-record this audio onto a new track, thus printing the audio. So we'll come up to Track and choose New from our drop-down. I'm going to create a mono audio track here in Pro Tools. There. Now let's rename this track. There. Okay. Now, back in our lead vocal track, we're going to create a send. And we'll bust that to an available mono send. I'll choose bus 13. We'll set that to Unity. And I'm going to put this on pre-fader and take our lead vocal track and mute it. What this is going to do is when we re-record our audio onto our new printed Melodyne track, we won't hear it twice, the audio from the lead vocal and what's being recorded. Okay? Now, back in our printed Melodyne track, all we need to do now is set the analog input here to corresponding bus 13 mono, like so, and arm it for recording. Now, let's open our plugin window so we can see the audio. There we go. And we'll arm Pro Tools for recording and simply hit play. And the audio will play from our lead vocal track, printing our audio editing from Melodyne plugin window onto a new track called Printed Melodyne here. Let's do it. You wanna tie me up? You wanna tie me down? You drinking from a cup? Can you go a second round? There. I'll stop playback and record. Let's close our plugin window, and there we go. You can see the audio has been accurately re-recorded with our corresponding Melodyne edits that we would have made here onto a new track called Printed Melodyne. Now I'll disarm that for recording, and here on our lead vocal track we can now make that inactive thus freeing a lot of our CPU resources for other applications. And if I press play here, beginning at verse 1, you should hear the audio playback normally. You wanna tie me up? You wanna tie me down? There. Here we've printed our audio track onto a new track to help free up some of our CPU resources for other applications. 
This is also great for archiving or transferring your audio from one studio to another and making the mix process a little bit easier. Thanks for watching. My name's Carlo Libertini.